Hey everyone, welcome to May's Log Life. I'm May, and this is going to be a tour and information video about the unofficial Log Warehouse sale that's going on for the month of July, uh, 2022. So uh, if you've seen my previous videos, my last two videos, you'll have seen the amazing deals, the amazing finds that I was able to get at this sale. Um, and uh, I've actually been getting some requests about uh, maybe some more information about the sale. So I apologize. I'm a little bit late with this information for some of you who have been asking. Uh, we've had some uh, technical issues here in Canada. Um, half of the internet got shut down for almost a full 24 hours. So and we were still having sort of sketchy issues. Uh, things just not loading properly for me here. So it took me a little while to actually get this video out. But um, anyways, I apologize that it's a little bit late. Um, anyway, so like I said, stay tuned for the information about the video, sorry, about the sale, the end of the video. Uh, but first, I thought I would take everybody on a tour uh, of the sale as it was when I was there. So I went on the quote very first day of the um, official 50% off sale. Apparently I've been going on, this actual sale been going on for a while prior to the day that I went, but the first day when it was 50% off was the day that I went. So, um, so as of July 1st, um, it was, it, this is what it looked like. Now I just had a friend go this morning and tell me that the selection has really come down, that it was a much smaller selection. Uh, and there, there wasn't very much left. So I'm just going to take you on a tour of the, of the sale as I saw it. Um, I did, I'm, I'm so basically what it was, I've, I've got photos of the, of the sale and some video as well. And I took them because I wanted to show a couple of lug nut friends who were not able to go to the sale. Just wanted to show them what was there so that they could um, tell me what they wanted. So I was just sort of taking really fast shots around the whole uh, storefront and they could hopefully recognize something that they wanted. Um, and then we could sort of discuss whether they want a different color or if they wanted me to zoom in on a certain corner of the, of the storefront, then I would do that. So these photos were taken really fast because I didn't have a lot of time and a very limited amount of time that I could spend there. Um, so I was taking really fast shots and trying to send these out as fast as I could. So I apologize for the lack of quality or for the lack of well, for the lack thereof of anything other than just showing up, just existing. Uh, they were not meant to be beautiful. They were not even meant to be, you know, documenting a whole lot. It was just like, here's a shot, here's a shot, here's a shot. Hopefully you see something that interests you and then just send me a text really quickly and let me know if you want me to, you know, zoom in on something or if you want me to go to that corner and tell you what was exactly, you know, there that maybe, you know, you'd be interested in. And that's really all it was. So I was just taking orders over the phone from a couple of lug nuts. So, um, so anyways, that being said, uh, like I said, this is, uh, these are all photos and videos that I guess are no longer, um, they're no longer accurate. They, the, uh, the, the stock has dwindled apparently significantly, but you, at least you get to see what I got to see on that first day. So I'm just going to take you on a tour. So hopefully you get to at least enjoy what I got to enjoy that day. Okay, so here we are in the parking lot outside the warehouse sale. So if you are actually pl planning on going, uh, when you're driving along Roddick Road, which is the road that this warehouse sale is located on, you will see uh, a bunch of lawn signs posted and they're white with the lug logo. You'll see them all along the grass. So if you are looking for it and you're not sure, they've actually marked it quite well. So you will see all the lawn signs leading up into the building. Plus when I was there right next to this, uh, warehouse sale uh, sandwich board. There was actually one of those air dancers. I think it was a big red air dancer. So um, they do make sure that you can actually find it quite easily. So if you are going, just uh, just look out for all the signs. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard to find. And here we are on the inside of the Lug Warehouse sale. So I tried to get a photo of the entire store. Couldn't do it. Uh, but this gives you a sort of a general sense of what it looks like. Um, so that we're just on the inside the, of the of the door and uh, trying to get a sort of a good scope of everything. So what you're seeing mainly here is you're looking right in the sort of the center of the store. All the, all the uh, you know, sort of purses were some of the smaller items right there just behind the closing sale. Um, there are a bunch of little accessories and um, like lanyards. So there's a bunch of lanyards that you see right behind there. 
uh, some of the smaller items like um, like luggage tags and things like that were here as well. Um, but uh, so right here, there was a whole bunch of um, sort of discontinued things, things that I, some of the things I had never even seen before. I think some of these things might have even been like, like maybe freebies at one point. Um, so lots of really, really unique little, little items there. Um, so as you can see on this sale, everything is 50% off whatever the ticketed price is. And some of the ticketed prices were insane already. So this sale is actually really quite remarkable. Um, and now I don't know if that's the case for everything. Uh, one of my friends actually went a couple days ago and she discovered that, uh, well, actually one of the things that she got when she asked, it was $45, assuming it was an extra 50% off of that. Uh, she got it, but it actually wasn't that $45 was the price. So if you're not really sure, and if you happen to be going and you want to make absolutely certain, uh, you may want to double check uh, at the front and just make absolutely sure that that actually is the price or whether that's an extra 50% off. Um, you might get a little bit annoyed with you because the sign does say an additional off of everything, but just because there was a little bit of an inconsistency there this past uh, couple of days, I just thought I'd put that out there. But otherwise, 50% off everything. It's, it's amazing. So here I've just panned the camera over slightly to the left. So if you just look to the left of the model with the weird scarves, so she's standing right in front of a table. So on that table were like little, little accessories. There were like um, the the insides of the choo-choo, so just the plastic pill container of choo-choos. There were a couple of choo-choos there. Uh, there were some seesaws, different like random colors. So like they would have like one small one or just one large one. They didn't necessarily have a whole set. Sometimes they did, sometimes they didn't. Uh, most of them were used, uh, like, or not used, like they didn't have tags. And you could tell that all the tags had been, written, had been ripped off. Um, there were a couple of chuggies. Uh, the smaller ones were there. I didn't see any larger ones. Uh, they had the eco shoppers, like the ones that were, came in the three pack. Um, there were other sort of random travel things that I had never seen before. Uh, I'm trying to think what else they had, like just smaller travel items uh, were there. And then just on the other side of that table. So just like further into the, into the photo, you'll see sort of a, like a, like a, a standalone rack. Um, on that rack there were all the vegan leather things. So there were uh, tand sorry, tandems, there were uh, tempos, they had carousels, they had, um, they had uh, zip liners. So anything vegan leather was on that rack. So you see right there, there actually was a fair bit um, when I was there. Uh, now, by the time I left, just so you know, that that whole thing was practically empty. I think the vegan leather got, uh, got, uh, got picked over very, very quickly. So I got there pretty early in the day, probably got there about two hours after they opened. And, um, by the time I left, which was probably about an hour later, um, there were out of the 30 bags that were there, there were probably only like 10 or 15. Uh, and it was all the smaller ones. All the big ones were pretty much gone. And then on the far wall, if you go, you know, right up against that back wall there, um, if you look up at that top shelf, you'll see like an amber yellow thing at the end and the gap and then like some kind of wine red. So the wine red and the pink, and I think it's a cobalt next to that. Those are the Via uh, Travels. And they had, they were in that brushed fabric, that sort of brushed crinkle fabric. Oh, brush crinkle fabric. It was in the crinkle fabric. Now I don't know what the amber yellow is on the other end. Um, but big bags were found there. So if you're going to that sale, do look up to that top shelf. There's some really fun things to be found there. Uh, I got my boxer two up there. Uh, there were some sprouts and what else was there? I can't remember what else was there, but, um, anyways, the, the larger sort of travel bags, like the larger overnight bags were up there as well. Now, if you look just below the Via Travels, there were bento boxes, there were packing cubes. Some of them were new, some of them were not. Um, there were wallets, so there was a kick flip threes, uh, splits XLs, some quick steps, and there were also huggy chuggy sets or just straight up huggies. Like, so there were empty huggies. Um, Trying to think what else. Oh, they had the. Um, the travel pillows. So the, not, not the pillow with the blanket, just the solid, like just the, the harder sort of memory foam pillows. They had those. Um, there were also packables. So they had eco packables and they also had puddle jumper packables. Now I don't know if they had 
this the ones like that were just the tote or whether they just had the backpack straps like that i don't know um and they also had some um some of the uh, travel blankets as well so there were a few on that side as well so there was sort of like random accessories and if you went just slightly to the left of that there were um more bags so they had like rangers and canters and um uh, nav not navigators, um, compasses, things like that. Uh, hatchbacks, lots of hatchbacks. And um, on, if you go to the to the right of that, just behind the model there, um, behind the, uh, the the mannequin, there were wallets, there were trolleys of all sorts. So all the accessories, all like that was my favorite wall over there. Those were that was the place where I found most of the good stuff. And if you looked at the in, like sort of the inside, the interior, there were a lot of the purses. So in the center of the of the of the shop were mainly purses of all sizes. So can cans and um, shimmies and and all that were were there in the middle. So let's go to the next photo. So just a slightly uh, better view, just off to the right of the previous uh photo just you can see a, just a little bit more detail of the uh of some of the accessories that are being offered here um luggage tags lanyards that little orange thing on the on the bottom of the shelf just to the right of that girl's ankle is uh one of the lug beanbag chairs like the little um the little cell phone beanbag chairs that they were selling a little while ago. There were a bunch of different colors. They're just on the other side of that little display. And uh, they were $9 each. So lots of little uh, sort of really unique um, little accessories just around that little area there. And then just back behind the, 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 the lady there, you can see there's a, a big yellow lug sign. That's where all the uh, trolley, so the, the wheelie trolleys were wheelie trolleys the wheelies were the wheelie bags were and uh behind her like directly behind her on that back on that back wall were uh, a bunch of like apollos and avions uh just those large really 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 big um sort of you know tote style bags were back there air buses shuttle bus um i can't remember what else there were but like the really really large bags really large tote bags that lug has so here we are back up at the front of the store and I've now panned slightly to the right. So right at the front here, you see, um, just some neck pillows. I don't think there was anything special about them other than that they were sort of custom done for, I'm not sure what, um, but, uh, they just looked like they weren't like those, um, harder with the, uh, with the, with the memory foam, they were just sort of soft. Um, and then if you just look right past that, there were a bunch of t-shirts and some scarves, <laughs> um, just on the other side of that, but like, not like, not the, the, the nice sort of, um, chiffon ones that they were having. Uh, they were more like bandanas, I guess. Um, and then just on the other side of that, uh, which you can't see at all, and I don't know if I ever got a photo of it, but were the tangos, old tangos. They were all like the, so the tangos are the, um, the, pa the, the, the travel wallets. So that you've got room for your passports and your boarding passes and cards and things like that. So they were like the larger travel wallets. There was a whole bunch of them and they were sitting on one of those library book trolleys, which made me laugh. Um, and there were also some really old wallets, like, like larger wallets, like old kick flips um and a whole bunch of like wallets that i'd never even really seen before uh really old prints really old styles but it was so cool to see all the vintage stuff so there's a lot of like smaller vintage accessories there and they also did have the um the luggage belts that uh that that lug made eons ago so they were like in the solid or bright colors i think it might some of them might even be the original ones that they made right off the bat like the, the first 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 thing they ever made and if you look at the very far right wall there towards the back um these were like the larger sort of, sort of like the, these were like the more unique totes so the bumper was there my favorite bag um there were uh gondolas uh puddle there was one puddle jumper there if you can see it in the uh instead of the copper on the on the ground there with a the water ball in it and there were lots of um mini puddle jumpers and um breezers there were some wind jammers uh what else was there uh puddle oh so actually there were some puddle jumpers the ones that they were selling with the packable puddle jumper for a while so those are right up against the back in the corner there next to the pink sign 
Um, and a bunch of other bags I actually didn't really don't recognize anymore. Uh, names that have sort of escaped me at the moment. But there were some really, really cool things there. And I feel like some of those things were samples. Because I'm virtually positive some of those bags, I was like, I didn't know they ever came up in that color. Um, and I, th I think back now, I'm realizing, I don't think they ever did. I think they truly were just samples. So I've now panned the camera even further to, to, to the right to show you the actual well, at least the front part of this wall. Now, I don't know. I don't know what's behind that, or right, rather, right in front of the lady there. I don't know what that bag is anymore. Uh, but just to the left of her are gondolas, so you'll see in the firework black at the top, and then right next to her shoulder. Um, that was a gondola in some kind of camel print that I had never seen before. So I'm virtually positive that was a sample because I'm almost 100% positive that never came out in that print. So it was obviously a unique one of a kind thing. And it's a print that I've never seen before either. Um, it might have been a print that I've maybe have seen on like, like on a really sort of random bag, but it wasn't a print that was sort of out there. So it's not like any of the camos that we see today, uh, but it was a camo, but it was like an early version of the camo. Um, and then sort of to the left of that is a red bag. Again, don't know what that is. Didn't recognize it. Um, it didn't look like a bag that I had ever seen before. So I don't know if that was a sample. If that was just a really, like, really old vintage bag. Just below that, at the very, very bottom there, are the, um, uh, it's, oh my gosh, what's the name? What's the dance that they did in the in the in the in the twenties? The flapper dances, the Charleston. Yes, it's the Charleston. So there were a couple of Charlestons there. I always get that name confused. And then up at the top there are the propellers, and uh, the, I think those are definitely older colors. Like like they're I don't know four years old or something like that. And then just to the left of those, um, it was sort of a random mix of breezers and wind jammers, um, and I think maybe like shuttles um so it was sort of a random mix of little bags there but lots of really fun bags to see in that little section there so I've now moved a little bit further uh, to the left of the photo that we had just seen, so you can get a sort of better look at the at the some of the bags that are sitting just next to the propeller there. Uh, and then if you look left of that, uh, the yellow and the lime green, those are cartwheels, the original cartwheels, the older cartwheels and the older colors. Those are so cool. The, I, I love looking at the vintage ones, um, even if they're not necessarily things I would necessarily get. Uh, it's still f kind of fun to see the older, the older prints and the older versions of the bags that we now know today. Um, and of course, yes, you now you see all the little mini puddle jumpers and the other puddle jumpers and uh, the bags uh, that I, the names are escaping me at the moment, um, but they're no longer things that, that they carry. Uh, but they were around not that long ago. They were probably around like three or four years ago. So a lot of fun bags on that wall. Okay, so now we've come over to the accessories wall, which is the far on so the opposite wall from where we just were in the last photo. So here, down here, uh, I've got a photo of the duo sets. And what they are is it's the regular size trolley with a mini trolley with a matching mini trolley inside it. So they, I think when they first sold them on QVC, um, or when the mini first came out on QVC, I think they were selling some as a duo and these are them. So uh, it was $55 for the set, which is half of that. So what is that? Like $27. So 27 for two trolleys. So you get a large, no, not a large. So it wasn't extra large. It was just the regular, the, you know, the average size, I guess, quote, middle size trolley. And then the trolley mini that was in there. So you've got the cat's orchid. There's the right below it, the bouquet red. Um, and then if you look to the left, like far in the, in the shadow, that's the bouquet blue. And uh, it looks like the uh, uh, stars and shells navy. Uh, and if you look just above that, uh, you'll see some cuddle throws. And now I'll be honest with you, I actually didn't look at the price and there wasn't an, an obvious price anywhere. So I don't know how much they were, but they were all sort of just in bags. Like they weren't in regular packaging at all. So either these were total samples or they were returns or seconds. I'm not sure, but they were just like in plastic garbage bags, um, which is part of the reason why I didn't look because I was like, I was probably going to want to give these as gifts. 
And if they weren't going to be in packaging that was presentable, I wasn't going to look. And plus, I have a lot of blankets. So when I had such a little amount of time, I actually didn't pay attention. But there were a few really cool ones. Like I think back now, I really wish I had gotten them because I would have loved that plaid gray. <laughs> but um, anyway, so there were a few. There weren't very many, but there were certainly, you know, like seven or eight of them there. Uh, enough that you could choose and have a, a little bit of fun with uh, with some of the colors that were there. Okay, so here we are, still looking at the duos, uh, the duo trolleys. And if you look just above that, you can see uh, it looks like a like a pearl leopard, leopard pearl blanket. And then if you look just to the right of the trolleys down below, there's another duo set. And these were really weird. So the regular duos were sold for $55 a set. The ones next door were being sold for $40, for $39. And they were custom Miranda Lambert uh, trolleys. And I didn't look at them for real because I wasn't going to get one. But they were gray with the black zipper and black and like magenta um print uh like sort of like little 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 i like little logos and things like that so her name was there and then like there were like guitars and records and things like that that were printed on it so if you're a miranda lambert fan yay what a cool find and what a steal but there were tons of them so obviously they were made for i don't know if they were made for her tour or something like that for her staff but there were a lot of them that were there and i'm, I'm i, I got to assume that they're probably still there i have to assume that they weren't one of the fastest things that were being sold And here we are back at the front of the store, but this time I've got a shot looking straight at that side wall. So you can now get a better sense of the products on the top shelf there. Um, and you can actually see, looks like there's some archers on the other side, just underneath the the, uh, the Via Travels. And then if you were to go like sort of continue along that left side there, up to the front what, uh, wall, uh, up to that window, um, just behind, just in front of that window there, you're actually going to see um, some random things. And it looks like they're all new things. Like when I was there, there were some like new gondolas and a couple of like, like XL gondolas from way back when. Um, so they were, I'm not sure if they were for sale or not, because it looked like they were on very special shelves, but you can ask, I guess. And that's where the cash is. And if you go right to the actual cash, like right at the, on the, on the table, there were a bunch of other little things. So you could get like really, really old little pouches. Like we're talking, you know, like, I don't even know how old they look like they're, they've been collecting dust for a while. <laughs> um, like little tiny zipper pouches. They had the Metro IDs, uh, a few of them, and they were $12. So they weren't really as cheap as I thought that they should should be considering it's a warehouse sale um they had a lot of key fobs like in the solids so not the ones that we have been had been getting for for as freebies like with the prints they were all i think there were a few with the prints but most of them were solid colors they were like the key fobs from way back in the day so like like the, i guess they're the magentas and the and the corals of today but it was it was back you know back when they first released these kinds of colors they also had some luggage tags um like the little the ones with the little id window um the ones that you can just write straight on to they had a whole bunch of different ones there and then they also had just had some random random things um like more wallets and stuff like that so it's it really is like lots of little 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 things so if you have time take a look at that unfortunately that's where people line up to shop as uh, to pay so if you're able to sort of squeeze yourself in there just to look at that first a lot of fun little things that you, you might want to pick up because they're a uh, lot there are lots of little cheap things that were like you know, $2 and $3 as well. So a lot of fun things there. And if you look sort of in the foreground here, um, there's a glass case and it's jewelry. 
Uh, and it's not lug jewelry because I got a little bit like, hey, does lug make jewelry now? But it was just random jewelry. And I don't know if that means like a friend of the family's had a jewelry line that they wanted to sell and they decided to, you know, offer them up a, a display case. But um, I don't know if that was on sale. I have, I have to assume that it is, but I didn't look and I didn't ask and I didn't check. Um, and there were a couple of things. If you look at the top of that, you see where that moving sale says, um, moving 50% off. Just above that, you'll see some little black rectangles. Those were trolleys as well, but they were a different kind of trolley. They were um, custom trolleys. Um, it was the same, same shape and size as the trolley, but they looked different. And I think the fabrication was different. And it looked like it had like some company's logo on them but i think they were like 19 dollars. they were really really cheap so um it was, so it was the same size as a regular trolley but i think different fabrications so you're not really getting a true lug product again it's a custom product but hey ten dollars it's one of those things you can easily throw into a car or something like that and uh and not worry if it gets dirty um but yeah there were some really interesting things in the cabinet like in that in that glass case but um unfortunately none of it was actually lug so here we are at the video section of my video. Um, so for the next few things you're going to see, it's just me uh, recording really fast video, just running through the place uh, with my camera, just trying to get uh, a, as much of an overview as I can. Um, and um, so I got more more the center of the of the sale as opposed to just the perimeter although i did do that as well um so all in all between the videos and the photos i probably was able to capture about 70 75 percent of the sale um there were a whole bunch of things that i didn't i i completely did not record and there were some things i didn't record very well like in other words i didn't go into great detail so i just sort of panned across uh so if you see a box i didn't necessarily show it was in the box um if there was something on the shelf i didn't show it was in the shelf um but i so i i just didn't quite get around to it because the sale got busier and busier and i was running out of time so anyway so i'm not going to say anything for the for the videos i'm just going to let you sort of enjoy and watch um but uh yeah, hopefully you get a bit of a sense, a better sense of what's there now that everything is sort of like running live. So enjoy the videos.
Okay, so this is the information section of the video. So you'll see in front of you here the screenshots of the flyer that was put out about the sale. So I got these off of the official Lug Life um, Facebook page, and they were uh, brought by another lug nut who got them off of her Instagram feed. So she followed or follows a quote reliable lug employee on Instagram, and that employee posted this flyer on her Instagram feed. So the lug nut took a screenshot of that, came over to the official website, uh, official Facebook page, posted it, but then lug deleted the whole thing. She deleted the, they, they deleted her entire post. Um, luckily, so enough people did take screenshots of this and posted them again. Now all the photos got taken down, the post got left up, but the photos got taken down. So lug clearly doesn't want to have any, doesn't want to have anything to do with this sale um, because it has nothing to do with them at all. They're not running it. They're not, there's absolutely no official ties to it. But if you look at the one on the left, the, the photo on the left, it says Ken's warehouse moving sale. Ken is actually Amy's dad. So Amy Richter is one of the founders of the company. It's her dad that runs it. And I have a feeling now that I'm, I'm, I'm putting two and two together after having spoken to a couple of people that were there at the sale. Um, it looks like this is a storefront that's been there for quite a while. So Lug has had a little bit of a storefront where they sell all of these things, like the samples and the seconds and the discontinued items at a discounted price. But this is now they're officially moving and getting rid of it all. And they're no longer going to be having that storefront. It sounds like what I, because I, someone had mm -hmm. asked Ken and he said, nope, this is it. I'm, I'm not, this is the end of it for me. I'm really sad. Um, I really enjoyed doing this. I loved meeting the people. I loved working with the bags. I love this stuff. And I think he was really sad to see it end. So unfortunately, this will not be something that they take to the new warehouse, which I'm really sad about because I would have loved to have seen all this stuff, or at least, you know, in the future, maybe see this stuff now. I don't know if they will or not, but it sounds like they're not going to be doing that anytime soon. So this is the end of any kind of lug storefront. Um, so that being said, um, you know, it's, it's, it's 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 one of those things where if because lug doesn't want to talk about it it's completely off their books um so if you go it, gets, it has nothing to do with lug at all but lug did mention that there is a warehouse sale that they are actually going to put on that's more official um at the beginning of august and um as soon as they come up with that information i will be sure to post that here as well i'll post a video with that information here since i know some of you guys are actually not on social media and don't follow any of that so that you know you guys are still kept in the loop i will try to make sure that i i post that video so if you want to make sure that you get the notification that that video is coming out please subscribe please like this video and i think there's a bell that you hit and i think that's supposed to give you notifications in your inbox um that uh i have just posted a new video so i don't i gotta assume it's coming out sooner than later because if it's happening at the beginning of august they have to announce that soon so please be sure to uh like subscribe uh hit the bell and um hopefully you'll get notice as soon as i post that video so um as far as the sale goes they are now doing the sale i know it says like just the first second and third they are now doing that sale right till the end of the month and i don't know what the hours are i have to assume something very similar to those hours they're like 10 to 6 um but mm -hmm. it's it's not there's not a whole lot left so if you are planning on coming up here it's not it, the selection's much uh smaller the uh the store i think has been pretty much cleaned out uh according to this friend of mine who just went this morning so if you're local uh if you're in the area already it's definitely definitely probably worth going in and taking a peek around but um i i don't think it's going to be as robust as it was uh you know in the in the photos that i showed or from any of the photos that anybody else has been sort of posting on Facebook. So sort of, you know, keep that in mind. So maybe don't plan your vacation to come up just yet. <laughs> maybe wait for the second sale for the, for the actual official sale to come up. But right now, eh, I don't know. So um, anyways, but it is still on and they still do have some things, but they don't have a ton anymore. And that's it. That's the end of the tour. That's the end of the information section. And that's the end of this video. So I hope that you enjoyed seeing 
all the cool stuff at this at the at the sale i really wish i had gotten better photos i'm really sorry that i didn't um and uh and i'm also sorry about the video <laughs> they were not well done uh i am not a photographer i'm not a videographer it was just me with my cell phone going as fast as i could so but at least i hope you got a good sense of what was there and i hope you got to you know sort of enjoy some of the excitement of of of, of what was there as well um and um yeah, that's it. So if you have any questions, if you are planning on going or if you you know want more information, please put those in the comments below. I will do my very, very best to answer as fast as I can so that you know you guys can actually have information uh, so you can make that decision whether you want to go or you know plan for the day if you are planning on coming. So please put those comments below. Um, I hope I've answered as many questions that you know that I can so far, but I'm sure there's other other questions that you've got as well. So please put those below. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.